Hi, welcome all. Welcome back to Coding Casually. This is Lakshay, and today's topic is VBA form controls. Um, this is for those people who are basically an MIS, who are into MIS role in their organization, or who work a lot of, uh, who work a lot on Excel, and they want to distribute their own application or recording macro, or anything which is controlled by VBA to different users. Um, so let's get started. So this is an Excel workbook that I have in uh, front of me. It has user admin and super admin on range A1 to A3. Uh, we'll press Alt F11 and you'll see this screen. This is quite apparent for those people who actually uh, code on VBA. So we'll go on to insert. We'll try to find user form and press enter. So you'll see a user form here. The user form itself is an object. So if you want to change it's basically it's a control uh, in itself so suppose if you want to change the name of the user form right now it states user form one uh, you can write automation one or automation itself and then uh, these are the controls that one should know about so we'll start from uh, frame uh, we'll try to find a frame so in, in frame we put all the controls uh, this is a frame look this is how a frame looks like basically this is a container where all the controls will be capacitated we'll see first uh, we write first batch uh, you can change the size of the font by going on to font section and then choosing this the first batch is here uh, this is a label box quite important uh, basically tells and uh, the user you know this is the input that you have to uh, put in the input box suppose if i push it here and i'll say username um user name and username is something that we have this is a text box in which we get the information um this can have the same thing i can have or can is the is capable to capacitate alphanumeric so anything which is writable can be a user can put it here so combo box is something that you use when you have when you want to um, make a drop down list so uh, you can uh, push entries into combo box or list box through VBA macro but if you do if you know where the entries are uh, you can go on to row source so I know on sheet 1 A to A3 has information so I can write sheet 1 and then an explanation mark A1 to A3 so now this would have information uh, it seems like I have put a different information altogether let's see what what went wrong sheet one explanation mark a1 to a3 right now i guess it's it's fine uh, it has admin super admin admin super admin um what we what else we can do what we can do here is we can have a list box i have written a2 instead of a1 right so that it can have all the information right so now if you want to push the same information into a list box list box doesn't have a drop down it has a scroll bar so suppose if uh, this is the same i can copy the row source from here and then uh, push it here you'll see the data is here so this is a, uh, uh, basically you see a scroll bar if you would make it big enough then it can capacitate like this or else a scroll bar would also work um, then you have a checkbox. A checkbox is basically for uh, people, for for people, for those people who want to actually get an input in form of yes, I understand, but if you want this or not. So suppose if you want this, like fetch data through local database, you can write this. So suppose now the application will fetch data from local database. Uh, similarly, for an option box, you can write whether you are a user or a tester you can have this um, you would not need toggle button for sure we are already coding in frame I mean basically we are already putting uh, things in frame uh, you would need a command button for sure to submit the form that we are just making so instead of command button 1 you can write submit so this is how you submit stuff you would not need a tab strip for sure you would need multi page that is something that i'm quite sure about so suppose if i make it big enough and uh, make it uh, big enough to capacitate the frame that we have designed and then what we can do is we can put the frame here if this is for those people who want to make multi page applications so in page one we have first batch 
and in page two we can have a scroll bar we would not need this we, we might put image uh, this is for those people who are developing applications in an organization so they would want their branding to be there but if uh, for in that case you can put image as uh, a page two can have multiple things a similar form which has um, which is there in the page one so this the whole video was about form controls if you would go for an interview you should know about this stuff if you think this is important and i should code something on uh, on the given uh, controls that we've just made i can do that as well just comment and we'll start up uh, we'll, we'll make a video on that if you think this is important and can help somebody please share this video like this video and please subscribe to the channel